Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So there's a new patch coming very, very soon. Um, this is on December... I'm I'm recording on December 6th. This patch is going to be dropping in two days on December 8th. They claimed right here... They stated right here. Um, something about December 8th, 5 p.m. their time, I think. So, yeah, some sometime in the middle... Of the, I mean, 5 a.m., so sometime in the middle of the night. Um... I think this is AM, right? Yeah, alright. Uh, anyone that knows how to read Korean, please read that. So this is on, on the Naver website. Um, I don't know how to read Korean. Like, I, I look Asian, but I'm not Korean, I'm Chinese. So, that's not really helpful. But anyways, I, I can actually just look at the pictures and, and tell you guys some shit, alright? This, half of this might be complete bullshit, but just bear with me here. And when the patch actually drops, I'll be going over everything um, in a first look video as well. So this is just a patch preview I guess. Um, there's three new posts. One is with the new new pack that's going to be purchasable and uh, new maps and new event and monsters. So this pack is really really exciting for pay to play players I think. Um, the packs in the shop right now like the limited packs it's it's crazy as like it's crazy expensive. Um, Ninety dollars for like two thousand four hundred crystals, you know. This costs thirty three Korean won, so it's gonna be. I'm estimating about like thirty, thirty US dollars ish, maybe. Um, this is just an estimate based on the price, like conversion and stuff like that. Um, so it might be around thirty dollars US. I think thirty dollars US for five thousand astro gems and. Um, 1,500 energy is definitely worth it because I use a lot of energy to farm, so uh, the energy is really, really good for me. Um, and I'll, I'll get the get the astro gems, and I basically only use the astro gems to refresh, so that means more energy for me to farm, and that that's pretty much perfect for anyone that wants to um, that wants to just farm nonstop. So, and also if you if you buy this pack three times, they will give you a free holy gleam, which is always nice. I mean, if you if you think about it in terms of just the Holy Gleam, it's kind of expensive, but if, you, if you're if you just buying it for the Astro Gems and the energy, I think this is definitely worth it. Um, and it, it like they basically give it to you every single day, so you you kind of have to like, you know, wait. You can't use it all in one, at one time. Um, but this is definitely okay for players that are just, you know, farming slowly and stuff. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is there's going to be three new ma or four new maps I think and there's going to be new capturable monsters. I'm not sure if these are new sum summonable monsters or new capturable monsters. Um, yeah, these are only two stars. This is the monster that was leaked or data mine in a like I think I covered it in a video a long long time ago. Um, it was data mine just like quite a while ago and um, you know, we never actually saw this monster until until now. So we're we're gonna be definitely seeing that monster very very soon as well. Um, yeah, as you can see on this map, there's gonna be four new maps. There's gonna be, you know, I, I actually I can't say anything about the, about these maps. I have no idea what they're about. But there's gonna be new like two star and three star, or four star monsters that you can capture here. Um, and, and that means like you know, capturable monsters means free, free evil three. Um. Yeah, there's there's a new dragon type monster. I think dragon like the game was missing a dragon type monster, so this is definitely really good. Um, I think someone asked me or something on Discord, like you know what type of monster I'd like to see. I did, I, I think I answered like I, I think the game needs a dragon monster. So they're definitely they're definitely doing that now. Um, there's also going to be a new event surrounded uh, surrounding the new this this thing, the snowman, or I, I'm not sure what what they're gonna call this monster yet. Um, I'm just gonna call it Snowman for now. So the, <laughs> there's gonna be a new Snowman monster. He's he's a natural three-star monster that's gonna be probably catchable or, or something during, during the event. And this, there's a really, really cool thing. This is really, really good for new players um, during the event. Basically, if you have one of these monsters at, and get them to Evo 2, and you can basically fuse your Snowman, um, and your Evo 3 Snowman into this monster, to get an Evil 3 version of this monster. Um, I think it's only limited to these three monsters, so you know it's probably not not the best thing, but it's still pretty nice. I mean Water Yuki is pretty good for for sapping and stuff like early on. Um, she's also a pretty good healer. Water Hana is also 
pretty decent healer. She has a sap and a uh, a a this uh, resilience buff. Yeah, Re resilience means like more SP recovery when you're hit and stuff. So basically, you get you get to upgrade these three monsters. They're not the best versions of the 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 monsters, but they do have some uses, especially these two, um, for for just you know building a sapper team. My my take on the sapper team is like I know a lot of people give me shit for this like you know don't build sappers sappers are shit. Um, I still think like it's it's viable like if you need need to build a sapper team to progress like early on, um, it's still usable like it, it can actually help you skip a lot of content. I'm gonna be testing it on my free to play account in the future so you know you got you guys can look for that for to that. And once I once I do like I'll I'll be able to give you guys a clear answer like you know yes sappers no sappers um, but as of now I'm just gonna say it's uh, it can work don't don't uh, don't hold me responsible for anything so they're bringing back the nightmare um, summoning rates again they're you know the summoning rates are over they're bringing back the nightmare summoning rates no idea what the heck this is um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's actually the everything that's gonna be covered in the patch. Uh, the the most important thing that's gonna be changed during the patch is also the defense buff change. So right now, defense buff works in a way where it only it only increases your base or decreases or increases your, like defense debuff or buff or um, attack debuff and buff. It only affects your base stats, but after the change, it's gonna be affecting all your like your total stat. Um, which means that for dungeons like you know armor break and not just for dungeons for anything in general like dungeon monsters when they armor break you it's going to be a lot more threatening um, when they put attack down on you you're actually going to do a lot less damage same thing goes for your monsters as well, as well if you can put armor break on the enemy um, I'm not sure if they have a base stat separation um, or maybe they just have like one stat so it might not affect you really but it's going to affect you in terms of buffs, like if you have a armor buff or something like that, um, or attack buff, it's going to affect your units quite a lot now. So I think that's that's also pretty nice. Um, what's what's the last thing? Oh yeah, if you are watching this video while I'm uploading, like on the day I'm uploading it, I I like my personal recommend my personal recommendation to anyone that can farm B8, uh, farm it as much as possible. Because after the change, it's going to be a lot, lot harder to farm. Like right now, I can 100% clear it, but I'm not sure I can do it after the change. Like I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do it with the same team after they implement the armor change. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of what I can right now and just farm as much as possible. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys liked it, be sure to like it. If you guys didn't, then you can uh, dislike my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.